Hey guys, Geno Zero, how you doing? Okay, we are in summertime. Oh, by the way, well, I, I, I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you're in. Uh, okay, we're in summer and it's hot and I'm a big fat guy and I don't like hot. So what I got to noticing was, uh, uh, I'm gonna get my new fancy thermometer here. Now outside right now, I'm pointing that laser at the ground and it is right at 99. Back and forth between 99 and a half and 100, you can see the temperatures there. But yet I notice when I get underneath my house here in the crawl space underneath my house, I put that laser pointer under there and it is 63, 62 ish, which is a lot cooler uh, under the house than what it is on the outside. So what I want to do is take what I've got using uh, laying around here and try to see if I can get that cool air from under the house into the house so that the air conditioning is not always running uh, and saving, you know, just spending a whole lot of money on, on air conditioning uh, and try to do it saving energy wise and still cool down the house. So and I, this is not going to be a permanent fix right now. This is nothing that's going to be permanent. Uh, so this is just an experiment uh, to see if I can kind of prove the concept that I can get the cold air from under the house into the house. So here's what I'm going to use. I've got a 45 watt solar panel from Missouri Wind and Solar. They run about 56 bucks or so. I've got a section of dryer vent, just a regular aluminum, I think it's a 10 foot, maybe 12 foot section of dryer vent, some speaker wire, an old computer fan, and some duct tape and electrical tape. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the speaker wire to wire this uh, computer fan to the solar panel and then run the solar, uh, run the, uh, the, the fan into one end of this dryer duct vent and then run the vent from under the house up into this window here at the back of the house into the house to see uh, I want to see a couple of things I want to see one will it push air uh, does it have enough force to push air that far up and uh, and see what kind of results we get to see if the air coming out is going to be cool and stay cool so let me get this stuff put together here and uh, we'll get right back with you I'm going to put this into the end of the uh, the computer fan into the end of the dryer vent and then duct tape it and seal it and then wire the panel to the fan. So let me get this done and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay guys, we were going to uh, hook this up to the solar panel now and see if the fan comes on. All right, fan comes on. And it is blowing quite a bit of air. You can see the grass here and blowing and moving. So it's blowing quite a bit of air. And we know that this panel will run at least this 45 watt panel will run at least five of those little computer fans because we've got five of them hooked up to our rabbit cages running off of uh, one panel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this fan part under the house and I'll go in and, uh, let me see the camera here. We're going to put the fan part underneath the house in here where the cool air is and we'll stretch that dryer vent hose up into that window and we'll see what kind of temperature the air is we got coming out. And then uh, we'll get right back with you. I'm excited. If this works, this may be a good thing because I can run five of these fans all throughout the house off one solar panel, which means I'll have a $56 investment in, what, uh, off-grid air conditioning, I guess? I don't know, but uh, it's going to be awesome. So wish me luck. We'll be right back with you. All right, there's our panel. There's the alligator clips that come to it that's hooked to that little speaker wire. That's just a cheap speaker wire that we got from Walmart. And then it runs in, there's our, our fan is hanging inside. We just stapled a piece of plastic uh, around the, uh, the door there to keep uh, a lot of that cool air from seeping out around where we got this door open here. Like I say, this isn't the, uh, this isn't the uh, end all be all. Right now, this is just testing the concept. We got it running up into this back bathroom window. We got the towels there to keep any extra warm air coming in. So there's just this cool air right here. So uh, we're going to see the wind out with our thermometer to see what the air temperature is coming out. And uh, if it's working, then we're going to figure out a way to daisy chain some more on there and maybe bring them up through the floor or something with some PVC pipe versus the, uh, the duct work. But like I say, for right now, uh, this is just kind of uh, proving whether or not it even works. So let's go in the house and see what the temperature is of the air going into uh, out of the vent here. So I'll see you inside. Alrighty, let's get our thermometer here, see what the air is coming out of there. 
70, 71 degree air that is blowing out through that, and that's the uh, that's the temperature actually of the vent, and it's probably going to cool off a little bit more as this uh, the aluminum foil there cools down. That temperature will get uh, a little bit lower. But man, that air feels really good, really nice coming out of there. Good and cool. Uh, not quite as cool as the air that comes from an air conditioner, but that is to be expected because this is, you know, air just right there at the top of the doorway. But that feels really refreshing and really good. And I think we may be on to something here. So the next step, now that we know that this will work, is to... Man, that feels good. <sighs> So now, the next step for us is to, I guess I'll try to get some uh, sections of PVC pipe uh, and some more of these computer fans and try to wire them. Uh, maybe we'll just, I don't know, cut some holes in the uh, in the floor, put some PVC pipe to try to get the, uh, the cold air from under the house up into the house. I'm not quite sure what I'll do yet because we're just trying to figure all this out now. But if I can make an initial $56 investment for one solar panel to cool down the house and not run the air conditioner, when, that'll be a giant score. So, uh... Stay tuned, and as we get some more material together, we're going to try to figure this out and uh, make it happen. So, uh, and plus, if we're ever, you know, in the summertime here, now we're in storm season, if the power goes out, we know that we can get cool air into the house and won't be scorching uh, in the sun in the house. So, that's a big plus. We know that this concept works because we're doing it. And that feels really, really nice, y'all. And that's moving a lot of air. I can feel that breeze all the way out here to where I'm standing and it feels good. So there you go. There's an idea for you. Another idea for a quick and easy solar project that's going to help cut down your cooling costs in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Or if you find yourself, you know, in storm emergency, you don't have any power or something like that. This will help keep, uh, you know, get some cool air into your house. Uh, computer fan, solar panel, um, that work for a dryer, a dryer vent, and a little bit of speaker wire and you're cool. Literally. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. So, thanks for watching. God bless. We'll keep you posted on the new progress in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.